Hi, my name's Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I shall be talking about the Pistol Pass by Danny Goldsmith. Hard to say that. Pistol, Pistol Pass. Before we do this, can you please like, subscribe, if you like and want to subscribe to it. <laughs> that is, if you don't, don't do it. Doesn't matter. Um, well, it does matter, but yeah. That, you know what I mean. And have a look at onlinemagic.co. That is my online magic course, school, resource, over 500 videos, was just card magic, and now all manner of magic. But have a look at onlinemagic.co, uh, live sessions every week. And Danny Goldsmith has been on and done a session for us, which is available to view on the course as well. This, I knew was about one move because of what it's called, Pistol Pass. And part of me was wondering, have... Danny is someone now that has a following, rightly so. He's a phenomenal coin worker and a great teacher. Um, and he's just opened this thing called The Guild, which I've only had a very quick look at, which is his membership pro project, which I've no doubt is absolutely brilliant. Um, so do check that out. I will do a review at some point on it, but I've just had a quick look and it looks great. But because everything he's done in my point of view and in the point of view and the opinion of many people is very good, he's now a si in a situation where... He can put anything out and people are going to be interested in it and a certain amount of people are going to buy it. And that is a situation which can be abused. And when I saw this, I thought, it, is he now, because this is about one move, and I heard it was a move he'd come up with, and I, I thought, is he now doing that thing of kind of just coming up with stuff to sell? Because that is a very real thing that happens a lot and a thing that can be problematic. You know, I'm going to play this one, I'm going to come up with a thing, create a whole project around it, everybody's going to buy it because they love my stuff. And I think subconsciously that's why I didn't rush towards this. I thought, do I want a whole thing on one coin move? I know loads of coin stuff. There's way more to learn. I don't know. I'm not a, an amazing coin worker um, in comparison with Danny, but do I need more? The answer is very much so, and I'm very glad I did get into this. I only started playing with this last night, yesterday afternoon. And I was... Uh, uh, Danny... Danny stuff always does this for me. I wasn't in the mood to practice. I've just been looking at some other projects that were actually pretty good, but the practice process was just not grabbing me. I wasn't really enjoying myself very much. And I kind of begrudgingly dragged myself. Kids went to bed. Um, I'd had a look at it a little bit, but I thought, well, I better, better play with it, get the coins out and have a, have a play. And my mood, I was feeling pretty down last night for various reasons, and my mood just lifted immediately. And I got into that flow of practice that I always do with Danny stuff and I think it's because it's challenging enough for me to to really be stimulated by but not undoable I can see the I can see the possibility in it and the minute I saw him do this move I just went I want to learn that the minute I started playing with it I said I can't do that and then quite quickly I realized I could do it so what this is it's a muscle pass or a kind of muscle pass now he says it's a muscle a kind of muscle pass I think that will put people off. Because of the, the, the original muscle pass, which is incredibly difficult. I mean, it, it's so knacky, it's so difficult. It took me so long to learn. I do perform it now. Um, but people might think, oh, it's a muscle pass, therefore I don't want to do one of them because the first one took me months and months. I started getting this very quickly. It's not a muscle pass in the way that you use the hand in the same way. There is something more intuitive with this it kind of makes sense and quite quickly I went from no way to oh yeah to oh yeah I can I can start seeing this one of the first things he teaches is this pistol pot production which you you'll have seen I'll cut it in but it just kind of appears and this is a, a lot of these are productions a, a lot of the things he talks about is that there's so many vanishes but there's not very many productions uh, so this is all about productions and changes really but this one production is the hardest thing on the download i think it's arguably but it's it's the kind of foundation of a lot of the moves and it's the one where he put he brings the coin just to his hands as he would in the production but it just kind of pops into the air thus the title because he teaches this early you might be mistaken for thinking the whole thing's going to be that difficult it isn't but i would after learning the initial move spend a lot of time on this because it is really good and when you first do it you are going to be just it's just not going to fit it's like when i first learned to ride a unicycle when i first got on it it was there was just no inkling of me being able to even stay on it let alone go along on it or anything but then it starts coming together and this is what it felt like for me i just kind of went it's just 
and he said the same thing. We were having a bit of a chat on Messenger last night, and he said when he first sort of came up with the idea, he said, I can't catch that. And then it starts coming. And I will say, stick with it. Yes, it's tough, but it's really worth it. And he says, you know, th that this is a tough move, but it's worth it. I, I think there are way tougher moves than the initial thing here, but that production is going to take you some time. As he said, it is going to develop, learning this move, some calluses as well. And I got to a point where two parts of my hand were really hurting last night. And as he said, he talks about, you know, stop when, when you start feeling that. So that will give you an idea of the kind of move this is. I'm, go I'm not going to mention every, everything on this download. It's an hour download and it's, um, there's loads of ways of doing this. No filler on this. I think everything is brilliant. Um, the Glim production is where he uses the same thing to basically pull one coin out of the other coin. Uh, touch production is, I think, is a beautiful, very slow and a lot easier than the, than the pop production I was talking about. Uh, you'll get that quite quickly. And as he said that also on the Messenger chat we were having it, he's, you know, try that because you'll get it quite quickly. And you will. And it looks brilliant. Uh, the cob production is really lovely. It's, it's, it uses time in a really interesting way. So you, don't, you kind of don't have to think about speed of getting it into, like with a pop, you sort of have to really be on it. With this, it's a lot slower. And it is that lovely thing of, it's based on a Chris Corn idea, but as he said, a lot of these coin productions, am I, am I, I'm holding my hand lower. A lot of these coin productions, your kind of hand comes over and this, it doesn't, it just kind of comes out and it's really lovely. And again, not very difficult. Um, the catch change, which is, in, this is where we go to the changes, which is, you know, copper or a Chinese coin changing for a silver coin or vice versa. Just really good, very tough, but again, more doable than you think. The pluck change, which is based, I remember, um, it's a spellbound move, based on a spellbound move from spellbound position, which is holding a coin like this again, Chinese coin into a silver coin or vice versa, but it just seems to, to come out of thin air. Coin through glass. Really interesting. Again, quite easy because you haven't got to catch it. The glass does, does the work for you sort of thing. And I thought it was a really, really beautiful coin through glass, actually, and something that I think that you'll want to do straight away, probably even before the, the pop production. And the pistol shot, which is <laughs> it's just great. I saw it and just went, that's brilliant. And you just basically throw a coin in the air and just sh do that. And the coin kind of moves and goes over that. It's you, like shooting it out of midair. It's absolutely brilliant. And then he's got this um, performance of a routine called Bubba. Now this speaks volumes to me. So Danny is someone that has a, a persona, he's quite cool, but he's not scared to push the boat out and commit to something that could go either way. So this is a routine which is nearly all script, which has one moment in it, and he really commits to it. He's got a character, and he's built a whole routine around one move. Now, the fact that he's got the, the nerve to do that is brilliant and release that. The fact he's also thought about it in a way that is like, okay, I've got all this impressive stuff which does speak for itself. You don't need any scripting for this stuff. You just do it and people are gonna be blown away. All right? and, and like I said, it's very doable. But he takes this thing, builds this whole thing around it and it, it inspires you to go, okay, and it works, by the way, it does work. He says it's a ridiculous routine, and I can see what he's saying, but it totally works. It's very funny. He's very good. He's, his timing, he's got a very good sort of comedy timing. He's kind of speaking off, off camera to someone that is apparently their Cletus, you know, and it's really nicely done. And it shows me how creative it is. He shows me his commitment. He shows me that he's not scared. He didn't have to do that. He could have just gone, there's the moves, take it away and, and have a nice time, and everybody would have been happy. But I think he's someone, the reason I try to review everything he does, and I have missed a couple of things, and I'm not doing this just to, just to be gushy, there's no point in doing this, but I think he should be watched because there are so many people just trotting out 
thing after release after release and there isn't anything I've seen him do that doesn't have so much thought in it that isn't something that he's clearly very proud of and he he says that he's you know he he hasn't come up with this that long ago and his fingers were hurting after a while of doing it and then he, he does this thing with three coins that he hasn't pulled off too much, this pistol prop production with three coins and he goes, oh, I've done it. And you, you sort of see all that sort of process in there. It's beautifully taught, it's beautifully filmed, it's inspiring, you're going to want to do it, you're going to want to perform it and like all this stuff, I highly, highly recommend it. It's 19 I mean, it's nothing for something like this. You know, I'd pay way more than that for this and what I've done now is I've gone back to all the other stuff you know his finger fling I think that's what it's called which is another kind of muscle pass or fingertip I got that out last night and just went you kind of forget how good this stuff is so with all the kind of hundreds of releases it's important that we see the the creative people that that shine and I know he is known to shine he is known to be one of the best coin workers but not just because of the skill level I think there's way more to it so do check it out Again, there's no affiliation here at all. I just love the stuff. Use the links below, please. Do not ever buy this stuff from from illegal kind of sites. There, there are people sort of ripping this stuff off and selling it next to nothing. This is just don't. All right, support the creators, and we'll we'll get this great magic. And the fact that coin magic is so ancient, and there's still people like Danny and others uh, innovating and and inspiring is brilliant. So, so that is. Uh, the pistol pass, oh, I keep forgetting what the, the second word, it was pistol pop, because there's so many of them. Pistol pass by Danny Goldsmith, uh, links below. Thanks Danny for sending it to me. Check out the guild and all the other stuff as well. And like and subscribe and onlinemagic.co is my online magic course. Take care, see you later, bye.